We have a ridiculous amount of stuff to auction today. This is only the start of it. There's also I guarantee you no one here has one of these. <laughs> time, time, time. Okay, um, I need a volunteer who will keep a running spreadsheet of the auction items, please. Thank you. Um, all you have to do is, is keep track of, um, do you have paper, pen? You can. Thank you. Sure, we we can give you a desk right up here, and then all the auction items can go over here. And thank you. That's Jennifer, right? Yes. All the speakers know who Jennifer is because Jennifer has been helping them with their travel arrangements and their hotels and stuff. So basically all you have to do is keep a record of the item and the name of the person that won it and the amount. Yeah. Hmm. This is why I come here. I said that sometime last year. I have no idea why I said it, but I still go by it. So yeah, this was the 13th. And um, I think it went rather well. Today we'll have a few points and then the auction. Who's never been to an auction? Well, one of these auctions. Okay, it's, gonna, it's different from any auction you've ever been to. You'll wonder what's going on. You'll think you're in some parallel universe, and you'll think all the bidders are ridiculous or crazy or insane. Of course they are. You've met them. You know why. <laughs> and then they go drink beer. Um, even though I organize it and I get all the cats here lined up in a row, and the speakers give their talks and the attendees come along. I can't do it without sponsors. And anyone who's been involved with a conference knows how important sponsors are. And you just cannot run a big conference without sponsors. There are people here from IX. Thank you. Are there people here from EMC, from Iceland? Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. That's more than I thought. We know there's people here from the FreeBSD Foundation. Who are the guilty parties? George. Anko. Is there anyone here from Google? Thank you. Just as a precursor to the auction, we have something for sale. This got left behind many years ago. <laughs> I, I think it's not the right colors anymore, so I don't think Google wants it back. But please don't tell anyone, just in case they, they're upset at us auctioning that off. <laughs> Talus, who's here from Talus? On a side note, there, I think there's three other people here from Cisco. Who's from Cisco? Okay, we should all talk because all of us have the same employer. We're the same business group now. Oh, are we? We should definitely talk. Ironport? Are you Ironport? Anyway, we'll talk after. Okay, sorry. Who, who has never met Colin? Colin? Where's Colin? Colin, could you sit? You're always sitting in the back corner. Stand up, Colin, so everyone can see who Tarsnap is. Thank you. Are, are there still people here from Intel? Intel were big sponsors this year. First time they've been here. Thank you very much. I know the VBSD con people are here. NYI hosts so much stuff for so many people, including me. Are they here? Who's here? Paul, Paul left, I think. Phil. Phil, sorry. Paul, Phil. Where's Phil? Phil's not here. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, NYI. I know, I know the backtrace people are still here. 
I've seen them. Thank you. I'm positive that Microsoft have left because they had to be somewhere else, but there's still these bags left over. Uh, Microsoft Azure loves FreeBSD. There's some bags down here that if they don't go for auction, I'll be surprised. <laughs> Thank you, Microsoft. It was very much appreciated. Alan? Alan? Alan runs Scale Engine. That was three times. You know where that's? Okay. Alan runs Scale Engine. Thank you very much, Alan. Say it loud. Next Comuna. Next Comuna. Next Comuna. Thank you. He knew what I wanted as soon as I pointed at him. Don't. It's ancient. <laughs> Domo, thank you very much. <laughs> Who's from Mellanox? Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know Mike's here. Where's Mike? Mike. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Shopify is over here somewhere. I thought. Over here. Over here. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> This gentleman is one of only about five people who's been to every BSG con. Who, BSG can, sorry. Who's been to every BSG can? One, two, three, that's us. And all of us at one time were resident in Ottawa, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it is, it is isn't it? But I don't live here anymore. NetApp have long been associated with BSG can. Thank you. Where's NetApp? Anyway. <laughs> And, and PlayStation came out to play this time. Thank you very much, PlayStation. We've all met Jennifer already. Thank you, Jennifer. Everyone knows what Drew Levine looks like because you got her, your registration back from her. Uh, uh, is Adam here? Adam? Adam Thompson? Adam helps me out with the uh, hotels and the websites, which leaves me free to do a lot of other things. Thank you, Adam. Um, and I'm sure Brody isn't here either. Brody, did you come? No, he's busy. Um, and who helped move a box this year? Who's helped move a box any year? Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Harassment is serious. This afternoon, someone walking along the back hall was inappropriately touched. If you saw what happened, please come and tell me or anyone else associated with the conference. We want to find out who this person was, and they are not welcome back at any future BSD camp. So if you saw something, please say something. We want to find out who this person is. Thank you. Program committee. Peter? Where's Peter? Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Drew again. <laughs> Greg. Your hands are getting tired, but this doesn't reflect the importance of the people I'm about to name. Um, Greg, Michael, please stand up. I know you're here. David Maxwell is here, and George is here. Yeah, you all have to stand up, please. Thank you. Closing social event. Who wants to go to the party but doesn't have that black and red wristband? Good. I know, I know. Okay, so everyone ha has their ticket to the party that wants to go to the party tonight, right? No? Someone's missing one? Okay. Bring along 30 bucks and we'll talk as you go into the party. <laughs> I'm very sorry. So just to get an idea of how deep the sinkhole is, look at that person down there. And then look at this ladder here. And this is Rideau Street. And Rideau Street is like a major cross-town uh, thoroughfare, just 500 feet, 500 meters up in this direction. Yep. 
I wouldn't be surprised. It's going to take a while to fill that up. What? Pardon? Mostly filled. Good. All right. I want to do a quick show of hands, and I'll do a quick count. Who stayed at the Lord Elgin? Two people, three people. Who stayed at the extended stay? One, two, three, four people. Who stayed at the Marriott Courtyard, Ottawa? One, two, three. Thank you. Les Sweets? One. What? Novotel. Sorry, I'm on the wrong side. Novotel. Who stayed at Novotel? One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. Who stayed at Les Suites? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. How was the Wi-Fi? <laughs> yeah. What this means? <laughs> what this means is that next year I can say to Les Suites, "Look, we had thirty people staying last year." And most of them complained about the Wi-Fi. Is All that but what? All but Reed. All but Reed. Yep. <laughs> who, who stayed in residence? Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to say that's about 50, 60 people. Um, Wi-Fi there was okay. Somewhere else. Somebody who who didn't stay in any of the above. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20 people. How so, was the Wi-Fi? How was the, yeah. <laughs> so by far and away, most people stay in residence. And it, it, it's cheap, not terrible accommodation. You, you basically Good get Wi-Fi. what? Good Wi-Fi. <laughs> you get a two-bedroom suite with a shared bathroom. Yeah. And it's, Perfect. sorry? Perfect and it's about $110 a night. And it's just two blocks that way. That way? Over there. Yeah, over there. Thank you. All right. What's going on? Go. Go. Next. We have a short talk about the NetBSD Foundation. This won't take long. It'll take longer for me to swap everything over. Full screen, full screen, window. There. No? View. Zoom. We're stuck here. Okay. Can you take that? And then take... No rush. Just right, right, right up here. Yeah, try there. And then this one. Mm-hmm. Let's try there. How's that? Can you be heard? Go ahead. Oh, can you hear me? Okay. Sure, go. Just try. Oh, I thought so, so, so. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, this is only NetBSE-related uh, presentation in this conference. You may know. <laughs> we'll yeah. try to fix that next year. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yes. And oh, I'm Masamu Saito, and uh, uh, I became a NetBSE developer in 1997. And I started uh, working for IIJ to developed NetBSD based routers for more than 16 years. And oh, oh, last two, oh, I'm sorry. 
or last two years, uh, NetBSD couldn't uh, select it for Google Summer of Code. But uh, in this year, uh, we have selected. And we have seven different uh, projects. And uh, uh, you may know uh, NetBSD uh, pork a lot of uh, processors. And uh, uh, currently, uh, NetBSD uh, the latest release is NetBSD 0.1, but uh, all, of, all, all these uh, uh, SOC support have not released yet and can't merge. So uh, NetBSD 8.0 8 will include these uh, supports. And new device driver. Uh, uh, we have uh, NetBSD uh, NVMe driver uh, now. And the uh, kernel part is uh, taken from OpenBSD, and the user land part is taken from FreeBSD. And, <laughs> and one uh, different from OpenBSD is that uh, our drivers are support MSIX, but uh, uh, it uses only one submission queue because of uh, MP pro uh, multiprocessor capable problems. And, uh, and also, Oh, we wrote a, a driver for Intel Quick Assist technology last year. And uh, this driver was written by IIJ, and uh, they released a, a, a box used with driver in last, last September. The code has not merged yet. And USB 3, uh, the code will have, was written or many years, but it, it was not stable. So in NetBC 7.0, it was disabled by default. But now oh, oh, Nick Hudson fixed a lot of bugs, and now our oh, current uh, XHCI is enabled by default. And Pax ALSR, oh, this uh, 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 this present presentation material will be put uh, on www.netbc.org uh, in one hour. So uh, we wrote, uh, Christos wrote a lot of pages. <laughs> so, so please uh, read uh, after finishing this presentation. So we, uh, in current, uh, Pax ALSR is enabled by default on x86 and Spark 64 and uh, ARM. And, uh, oh, and, 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 and next, uh, uh, we worked for improve uh, our infra infrastructure. For example, uh, you may know. Uh, IFC's uh, hosting support was shutting down, and we had to move some of machines to another place. And uh, we had a DNS-related problem, and uh, this have solved last year. And multi-processor networking. Oh, you may know we have been working for this area for two years. And now, uh, uh, layer two layer, uh, from interrupt to layer two work have been done, but for physical Ethernet, only Intel one gigabit, not 10 gigabit, ten gigabit because I'm maintaining. And uh, now, uh, we have been working for layer three, and we, uh, we will have a uh, presentation in next uh, EuroBC conference. And, and also we have, uh, you have to do a lot of work, but uh, we, uh, uh, I think uh, we will be enabled a uh, layer related function uh, by default in this year. And uh, one char some characteristic is that one is uh, we wrote a lot of ATF tests for layer two and layer three. And also, we have developed or uh, to improve, improve or uh, network stack, and we wrote a uh, software to measurement the performance. Of, uh, uh, the name is IPGen, is based on 
or ring sounds or packet J. And, and it, it, it's not, of course, it's not based on NetBSD, but based on FreeBSD. And uh, you can use uh, this software uh, uh, to uh, do, uh, uh, this to has function to, to do RFC 2544. It's very valuable to, to uh, test the performance. And uh, all of these uh, information, and I, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, we have uh, some presentations, and almost all of, all of them uh, can be seen in this URL. So, of course, oh, I put this presentation in the same place. And oh, oh, blacklist D is a very, very funny and nice function to block a DOS attack. And it was released to 7.0. And oh, now, oh, NetBC kind of, in NetBC kind of D, D -trace, is enabled by default. So, as I said, oh, sorry, sorry. oh yes, uh, 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 we have no any uh, NetBSD related presentation, but next year we will have some. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. FreeBSC Foundation wants to give some stuff away. They're going to have a raffle off of some stuff. I think it'll just be easier if you hold this. I'll stand for you. <coughs> Well, I, I feel so um, so honored to be in Dan's presence. Um, <laughs> uh, so once again, an amazing uh, conference. Um, it was it was a great pleasure to be able to talk with all of you guys. One thing that I want to remind you is that you don't just need to. Um, it's not just at conferences that you have the opportunity to talk with the FreeBSD Foundation and and give us your input. Uh, we're available all throughout the year, doing lots of amazing things. Uh, so definitely keep your feedback coming, and if there are opportunities for us to come and visit you or um, somebody else who you think might be looking to use FreeBSD or wants to understand more about the community and how to interact with it, contact us, and we'd be happy to talk with you. Uh, so during the conference, uh, we actually raised approximately $2,200. And there were 68 of you who contributed to that number. So um, what I have now are the last two. Um, mini, mini board uh, or minnow board turbot systems that came from NetGate. This is a laser etched custom case. Limited edition. Limited edition, BSD CAN 2016. These things have two gigabytes of memory on them, actually. Um, I can't remember what the power usage is, but it's pretty low. It's low. Yeah. So um, really a nice little um, IoT-type system for you. It's an x86. Uh... x86 Atom-based, yeah. OK, so there are two more of these to give away. We gave two away earlier in the conference. And um, right now, we're going to turn it over to the random number generator to find out who those next two people are. All right. Number one, here, why don't you press the enter key, Dan? <laughs> 24. Who's number 24? 24? 24. Must be present to win. Hey, George, can you? Go in there and grab the power brick too, and there'll be one other of these. What do you want to do? Uh, I guess um, number 24 is absent. Spin again, spin again. Drum roll. Drum roll, yep. 
61. <laughs> 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 Woo! Come on down. Power supply, and that needs to go back in the little box there. Right. So we'll put that right here. You can collect it later. On your, on your sticker. You should have gotten a sticker that says, I have donated today. Okay, so I guess it's going to be collected at the end here. Yeah. Okay. That's for Ray. This is for Ray. Okay, drum roll. Number two. 37. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to need it for a second. There should be two in there. There should have been a second one. Sorry, oh. the first one's over there. We still have a few more things to give away. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you this so I don't forget. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's over there. Oh, no. This should Bigger be hardware. Be Bigger hardware. Okay. I'm not digging through your luggage. Okay. This is hardware. I'm willing to use part of the I'll find that for you, okay? Okay, so the other thing that we love to do at BSD CAN because so many people come to this conference from all over the world is we like to recognize members of our community who have gone above and beyond. Um, there's so many volunteers that make FreeBSD happen, um, but here are just a few uh, folks who have really made a tremendous difference. And um, for their troubles, um, they get the choice of one of two things, either a FreeBSD branded backpack, also limited edition, um, or um, a lovely scarf, also FreeBSD branded. Of course. Okay, so um, I know you're you're dying to find out who these people are. Um, so we'll start with uh, the first here. Um, FreeBSD is made up of a whole bunch of different components, and no contribution in any particular place has more value than than others. And I think it's really important as a community that we understand that it takes a lot of different skills working in a lot of different areas to make a project like this possible. So this particular individual has done an amazing amount of work in our documentation system, making sure that we have the mechanisms to be able to translate our documents, um, and also uh, provided support to people in our FreeBSD forums. So that's just another way for people to be able to get access to the community and understand what's going on. Um, and this individual is also very um, active, not only in generating documents, but also in leading the document group. And that is Warren Block. Yay, Warren. So you should come down. You should come down, come down, come down. You can make it down, you can make it down. You got time, you got time. Okay, so while he is walking down here, I'm going to go on to the second individual. Um, and this is an, a person who has been active in lots of different places, uh, technically within the project. Uh, but I think the, the thing that really has set him above and beyond, or, or shown that he's uh, contributed in an above and beyond fashion, is his work on the security team. And um, I think it's, it's really telling when, for instance, you deal with, um, we, we just started this thing with, with Microsoft where they're trying to support FreeBSD in Azure, right? Security is really, really important. So how do you create a relationship that allows that, that image to be supported? Um, and all of us rely on those security advisories that come out in a timely fashion and tell us exactly what happened, what to do about it, and how to keep our system safe. So that's uh, Gleb Smirnov. Where's Gleb? He's in a secure and closed location. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> he decided it wasn't safe here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Who's next? Who is next? No, no, no. Uh, I think I'm going to do this one next. Um, and this one actually is, is um, really important to me because it really set me kind of on this journey. And before coming to BSD CAN, I had no idea that this would even be possible. Um, but I think what I, what I want to say about this is that when we meet people um, in this community and um, we, we really don't know, I mean, what somebody's capabilities are, and oftentimes they don't know what their own capabilities are. 
or if this is the right place to be, the right type of community to be in, or the right thing to, to do. And so I happened to be in Concord, California um, while I was in college. I was doing an internship, doing something totally unrelated to FreeBSD. Um, but I happened to stumble into a machine room where there was a guy, you know, sleeping on the floor in a, in a, <laughs> with a sleeping bag, right, doing the first release of FreeBSD. And um, I knew absolutely nothing really about uh, Unix or how computers worked. I mean, I had started my, my degree, but um, I had no idea uh, the caliber of people that, would, that I would encounter in, uh, in being brought into this community. Um, and I think that's part of what has drawn me to do uh, work with the FreeBSD Foundation. I want to provide that same type of experience for people uh, to just get to know folks that are of high technical caliber, that are welcoming, that allow people to grow and learn. And um, that's really what I think about when I think about the FreeBSD community. And fortunately, Rod Grimes um, came down. Um, I haven't seen him for 20 plus years. I'm probably one of the only people here who had actually seen him in person before. Um, <laughs> And, and Rod, not only did you bring me into FreeBSD, and for that I will forever be grateful, but your contribution to the project in terms of release engineering and getting it off the ground, giving us the names for our first few systems, um, and also just bringing a high caliber of people together to make this project happen. So Rod, come on down. For those laughing, Warren gr grabbed Groff and, and petted him because, you know, he's lonely there on the podium. Like a super um, <laughs> this big box contains a ZFS machine. Who, who, who knows what's in it? It's a, it, it's a FreeNAS what? Mini XL. It's a free ma FreeNAS Mini XL. We will be bidding on this. It is fully populated with hard drives. The only issue is you got to get it home. <laughs> you think that can be on your carry-on? Um, I'm tempted to bid on it myself, but I feel conflicted. So what's going? I have my last one here. Okay. And there is one more. So once again, there are so many different aspects of the system that make it possible for us to have something that is of high quality and deployable in all these amazing places. Um, and I think it speaks to the high quality of the people who work on FreeBSD that we've been this successful so far. Um, people ask me, well, why is the system so stable? You know, it's because we test it. We, we have our own dog food, right? Um, we have uh, high quality release engineering. And we have people that are looking over the code trying to make sure that it works really well. But as the system scales, as the community scales, that's not enough. And so we want to recognize uh, Brian Drury, uh, wherever he is, for his work on <laughs> for his work not only on our build system and making that work much better, but also on test automation and making sure that uh, us developers actually write tests. <laughs> what do you mean you haven't worked on test automation? Are you... uh, that's kind of my job. <laughs> <laughs> do you have one more? I, I do. But anyway, um... <laughs> I could have sworn that I yeah. saw commits from you for ATF build, build on build system, system stuff. Build, anyway, anyway. Um, anyway, thank you, uh, everybody, for a great conference, and thanks to our, our contributors. Thank you. Now...
Next up and briefly is Euro BSDCon. Um, would you rather have me say this or would you rather have uh, Henning talk? Who wants to hear Henning talk? Okay, okay. Too late. You've only got one here. You can throw no, no, them no, you can no, throw no, them in no, here. No, no. So next Eurobeer Stecon is going to be in, in Belgrade in Serbia, September 22nd to 25th. You want to be there. How do I go to the next slide? Just press. <laughs> the call for papers is somewhat over, but we'll accept submissions until Friday. So if you haven't submitted yet, please do it. So uh, Belgrade, where's that? Well, we're coming from Stockholm. This is where last year's Eurobeer Stecon was. As you see, Belgrade is much more south so we're expecting much nicer weather. And also, for, one, for the price of one beer in Stockholm, you can buy a brewery in Belgrade. <laughs> Stockholm was sunny. Pardon? Stockholm was sunny. Stockholm was sunny. It was still very expensive. <laughs> there, are so, there are many, many, many good reasons to come to Belgrade. Travel and I have been there a while ago to prepare your BSD con, and we pretty much fell in love with the city. We got so much good food, and it was very, very affordable. We met awesome people. The picture down to the right is the hotel bar where we are going to spend a lot of time, I suspect. The hotel is very nice. You really want to be there. If you don't think you should be there by now, I can't help it. If you, if you cannot come because you cannot afford it, in memory of the founder of the Eurovis Dukon Foundation, we set up the Paul Schenkevel travel grant. So if you can't afford it but should be there, please send us an email, tell us why. We'll cover your travel, we'll cover your hotel, and we'll cover your admission to the conference, of course. Uh, the board will select the most deserving applicant, and the deadline is going to be July 1st, so you have like two or three weeks left. One more thing. <laughs> Speaking of EuroBSD Con, that's Groff's next appearance, and my successor as keeper of Groff is going to be Gavin. Please come down here. Now, save the moment. This is, this is a very important ceremony. Herewith, I pass responsibility of Graf to you. We had an awesome time. I wish you an awesome time with him. Please keep him safe, and I'll see you again in Belgrade. Bye-bye. <laughs>— I forgot one more bit while you want to be there. We have the social event at an ancient fortress with a giant view over the Danube. You cannot miss out on that. — Now we have some donations from Hardened BSD. You'll remember that there was some uh, hardware given away in the opening session, and there was some interesting criteria for that hardware. Who's come the longest distance? Anyone here from New Zealand? You? <laughs> I didn't come from there that day. Great. Who traveled here from Australia? Anything further away? What might be the furthest place? Brazil? Is Brazil further away than Japan? Uh, how long is the flight from Brazil flying? 12 hours? Japan is further. So who lives the furthest away in Japan? Anyone from, from Asia, India? Russia? What about the mid -Russia? We're trying to decide who, lived, who came the furthest. The yeah, someone look at a map. More than 1,000 miles? Yeah, it's more than 1,000 miles, yeah. <laughs> well, well gonna, we've, uh, we, we've got one to give away. So. Who's traveled more than 1,000 miles? Okay. okay. <laughs> Ta Ta Taiwan sounds farthest away. Anyone live farther away than Taiwan? Thank you. Okay. Who's this person? <laughs> Who's broke? I need can. That's why we're taking candidates. Who's broke? Warner. <laughs> you have to be here to win. Rod, Rod says he's broken source more than anyone. So it goes to Warner. Anyone object to it going to Warner? Nope. How about Warner objecting it going to Warner? 
going no, to no. <laughs> Please pass that on to Warner. Yeah. For the record, Warner objected to Warner getting the award. <laughs> who's never broken source? <laughs> who wants to claim they never who, who's, who's a source committer <laughs> who has never broken source on the projects that they have commit bits for? <laughs> they have had to have committed something? Yes. They have to have committed something. Oh, we have a record here. OK. Uh, 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 of, of you all. Who has been on the project the longest? Figure it out. Anyone beat Gavin? OK, Gavin gets up. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So Ga Gavin's, Ga Gavin's already got one because, well, it goes to the. <laughs> So it goes to so that one went to someone else. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Uh, so next, tourism stuff. Who knows about the Star Trek exhibit? Who's going? There's still the, what? The, we've been. Uh, it, the bunch of us are going for the 10 a.m. session. As of last night, there were still tickets left for the 10 a.m. session. Uh, if you don't know how to find this, it's somewhere on Facebook in the BSC Can uh, group. So a lot of us are going there. Now. Thank you. There's your lift here. Okay, the auction. One of the most interesting things we're going to have up for sale today, if I can find the right box. Oh, it's this box. And it is related to the topic at hand. So I'll just show you what we have for sale. Oh, yeah, you need that box. That's your box. There's only one of those, and it's not that box. <laughs> Here they are. So, how much are these worth, Drew? So these are worth nine ninety-five. Do I hear twenty dollars? <laughs> That's what they are. They're postage stamps. Fiftieth anniversary limited edition stamps. Twenty. Where's your hand? Twenty. Do I hear twenty-five? Twenty-five. Anyone? Twenty-five. Lacey. Thirty. Thirty. Anyone? Thirty. Going once, 30. Do I hear 35? 35? 40? Anyone going for 40? I'll do 40. 40? 45? 40? 45? Okay, 45. 50, anyone? $50 for $10 worth of stamps is good. <laughs> They're a collector's item. Sell They're a collector's it. item. Come on. 50? Sold to Lacey. $50. Thank you. Um, for the record, we can take. Where does the money go? Thank you. I do not take the money. The money goes to the Ottawa Mission for Men, which is just down the road here. They do a lot of good work in terms of homelessness, rehab, medical, dental, things like that. They've been around since the late 1800s, I think. But if you've walked down to the market, you've walked right past them. Can you describe what these are? They're sort of like Brazil nuts with a candy, spicy flavoring on them. Oh, sorry, it's this one. Condensed milk with cocoa. It's very sweet. They. We, we have contacts, OK? <laughs> so how much are these worth in Brazil? Maybe you, in US dollars, for example? A $1 plus, he gets to Brazil. Right. <laughs> so do I hear $10? What, what are the payment methods? What are the what? Payment methods. Canon method? Oh, uh, payment. 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 Oh, yes, payment, payment. methods. 
We'll take U.S. cash, Canadian cash, or a credit card or PayPal. All right? And we'll take coins as well. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Do I hear fifteen? Fifteen. Do I hear twenty? Do I hear thirty? Do I hear twenty-five? Twenty-five. Thirty? Thirty? Was that thirty? Okay, thirty. Do I hear thirty-five? Twenty. Thirty going once. Thirty going twice. What's your name? Corgan. Corgan. Okay. Uh, sorry. Sold. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, was that thirty dollars or thirty-five? <laughs> I believe it was thirty. These ones are cashew nuts with what on them? Yeah, the, these are the ones with the oh, these two, oh, these two are different. Karma, I can't read this thing. Excellent. Caramelized cashews. Worth about 50 cents. So $5? $5. Do I hear 15? 10. 10. 10 here. Do I, do I hear 15? 10 going once. 10 going twice. Sold to Michael Lucas. So the, these two are the same? They're the same? Do you want the second one for another $15, Michael? Does anyone else want the other one for $15? Five. 15 up here. Do I hear 20? 20? Do I hear 25? 20 going once. 20 going twice. Sold to Mr. Festa. Festa? Yes. So. Yeah. Just plain cashews this time. Not worth as much. <laughs> so I'll sell them both together. Five bucks, anyone? Straight from Brazil. Five dollars. Ten dollars? Fifteen? Don't, don't they 20? charge more to decaramelize them? I think so. <laughs> they, they do charge more to decaramelize them. So fifteen dollars? Fifteen. Fifteen. Twenty? There's two bags here. Twice as much as those and no caramelization. Twenty over here? Twenty-five? Twenty-five? Twenty-five going once? 25 going twice, sold to Pavel. Thank you. So that's two bags. All right, so now that was that, that was that. And we have this very interesting thing from Ripe. This is a power adapter. So it's a converter type thing. And depending on which lever you push, you get different types of... Thingies. What? Do that again? <laughs> so it's a nice little round package. 20 bucks, anyone? 20 bucks? 25. Do I hear 30? 30. Do I hear 40? Anyone for 40? 35. 40? 40? 45? 50? 55? Anyone for 55? 50 going once, 50 going twice, sold to Robert. Olivier. Olivier. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so we've got a lot of very interesting stuff. Uh, these are Raspberry Pi Zeros, one with a camera, one without. Camera port. Camera port, thank you. It just says, it says camera version, yes. So they have mini SD cards in the package. I can confirm that. I can see them. So how much are these worth? Probably about $5. Yeah, it does say $5 on them. So do you hear 15? 15? Oh, 20 here. 25? 25. Do I hear 30? 30. 35, anyone? 35. 40? 40. 45? 45 going once. 50. Do I hear 55? 55, go, 50, do I hear 60? 65, anyone? Now, are we bidding on the one with the camera? Or? <laughs> this, is, this is the one without the camera port. <laughs> Just wanted to mention that. So fi 55, 
60. 60. 60 going once, 60 going twice. Sold. Thank you, Benedict. So the camera version is much rarer. <laughs> so it should go for more money. So we'll start the bidding at $45. 40, 50? 55? 60? 60. 65, anyone? 65. Two are better than one. Do I hear 70 from anyone? The one version with the camera? Poor. 65 going once? 70. 70. He's bidding himself up. 70 going once, 70 going twice, sold the Benedict. Oh, sorry, sorry, that was in. 75, 75, 80, 85, 80, 90? 87? 87? Will you go 90? 90. 90. 95, sir? 100. 100. Thank you. Okay, so 100, $100. Canadian, I want to point out. So, uh, I can change the currency to euro now if you prefer. You said Canadian dollars. I know, but okay. So, hundred dollars, hundred dollars going once, hundred dollars going twice. <laughs> Sold the Benedict. Thank you. Any students here? Anyone? I need one OpenBSD and one FreeBSD. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's college, high school, middle school. An OpenBSD and a? Sleepy Sleepy right next and a FreeBSD student. student. Yeah, right next to you. Yeah. Right next to you. Right up. So I'm already giving the OpenBSD to one if I have the FreeBSD. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any FreeBSD students here? Does it have a camera? <laughs> Does it have a camera? This one is the camera. This one is a cameraless one. So, any any students here of FreeBSD? Like a student who is studying, you know, with FreeBSD. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> that, that, that counts. Okay, pa pass that back. Pass that back. I don't know who gave me this. Who gave me this? What is it? It's a Raspberry Pi three. With an HDMI cable? No, a serial cable. So, $15. 15. 25. 20? 20? 25. 25? 30? 35? 40? 40? 40? 50? Who's 50? 50 here? 55? 55? 60? 65? 65? 70? 70? 100? Anyone for 100? $100 here? $100 going once? Hundred dollars going twice. Sold to Peter. 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 Okay. So I have a bunch of ebook gift vouchers, fifty dollars worth. You can enjoy any ebook up to fifty dollars. Ebooks from No Starch are always DMR free. Sorry, DRM free. That's what I said. Yeah. So I have a bunch of these. Anyone want one for 10 bucks? 10 bucks worth of 50 stuff. 20. Okay, so I have about 10. So how much? Everybody hands up who's going to pay $10 for these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay. Keep your hands up. David will take one for 10. Brad will take one for 10. Peter will take one for 10. Name? Paul? Raul? Raul. Nick. Nick? Angie? Michael? Michael? <laughs> Sorry, what, what was your name? Jean Philippe? David? Scott, sorry, sorry, that's David. Who else over here? Michael, another Michael. And your name? 
Michael Williams. Back there? Gordon? Got one left? 20 bucks? <laughs> okay, and the last one is $20 to Anthony. Anthony. Okay. Whew. I know that took a very long time. All right, so I have books. Designing BSD rootkits. Who's interested? <laughs> there is an audible what from the audience. <laughs> How much do you want to pay for this? Uh, let's see. It's a Joe Song book. I think it was going for $40 starting, so 50 50 Anyone beat 50 $50 to Angie. A Angie? What's that? Angie. Angie. Okay. Thank you. Free BSD device drivers. We can, co we can coerce the author to sign it. $50, anyone? $50. $60, anyone? $60, sold. <laughs> What's your first name, please? What's your first name? Michael. Michael. Williams? Yeah. I remember sometimes. <laughs> Absolute open BSD. Oh, God, no. <laughs> The second edition. The author will sign it. Twenty-five bucks. Twenty-five. Forty dollars. Anyone beat forty? If he if he signs it, Michael, will you sign it anyway? He Liz. Liz says Michael will sign it. It's an awesome book. Your name? Michael. Another Michael. From Michael to Michael. Okay, we'll leave books for all. We got okay. We're back to food. <laughs> These are jumbo cocktail peanuts in a crispy potato chip shell. <laughs> they are Canadian. They are fiendishly addictive. They are fiendishly addictive. I want them out of my car. Michael Lucas <laughs> wants them out of his car. How long have they been in your car, Michael? Uh, they picked, we picked them up on the way here. Picked them up on the way here, so five days. Five days. So, not yet. May contain tree nuts, milk, soy, wheat, egg, and sulfines? I can't read it. Yeah, okay. So, $15? $20? $25? $50? <laughs> he drives right by this place on the way home. So, $25, $25 going once, $25 going twice, sold to Alan. Thank you, Alan. This is the Google banner that they left behind. $25. Joy, you're 30. I'll give you 50 to take it home yourself. <laughs> I have no shame in admitting that this has been in my parents' basement for about five years, maybe six years. You could auction it off again next year. I could, yes. So, 25? Any? 30? 30? 30? 25, no, 25 is down here. 30. 40? 35. No, okay. 40? I'll roll it back up now. 40. $40. Do I hear 50? Anyone for 50? 45. Do I hear 50? You interested in this for 50? I'm sure you can't find another one of these around. Oh, 55? 55 over there. 60? 55 going once? It even comes in its own box. I should sell the box separate. 55 going once? 55 going twice? Sold to Mr. Webb. Thank you. I am so glad to get that out of the way because it's been in it's been in in the basement for ages. Okay, so next up is a 
small travel mug, very small travel mug. Comes with a lid like this that comes off, has a little clip like this. Ten bucks, do you want to know what it says on the side? No. Okay. <laughs> Ten dollars going once. I'm not telling. I want to know what it says on the side. You'll find out later. Ten dollars going once. Fifteen. Do I hear twenty? No. Nope. <laughs> so that's 20? How much will it cost to find out what's written on the side? 20, it sounds like 420. Whoever wins it gets to find out what it says on the side. So, so far, George, you've got the bit of 20, right? Is that 15, sorry. Honest mistake. <laughs> 15 going once. 15 going twice. $20 over here. $20. $20. 25? 20 going once, 20 going twice. What it says on the side well, it's my secret. It is ripe NCC. What does that mean? <laughs> no, no, no. This is from Max, isn't it? <laughs> Not yet. Um, so $20? 25, 20, 20. 20 going once, 20 going twice, sold. Two. Uh, just Yell out your name, please. Aaron. Thank you. Aaron. Does anyone want one of these bags? The, the Microsoft loves FreeBSD? Well, there's a whole bunch here. Come and get them later. We won't auction these off. So what we have here is very interesting. It is a towel that was given out on towel day. Fifty-five? Twenty-five? Twenty-five here? Thirty? Forty? Sixty? Sixty? Seventy? Sixty going? Seventy? Seventy from Drew? Eighty. Eighty, sorry, from Drew. The, there's a Wikipedia entry about this towel, not this particular individual towel, <laughs> but about this towel. We could fix that. <laughs> there should be an entry on Wikipedia about this towel being sold at BSG Can. Someone, I can't do that, but someone else can. Michael Lucas can, yes. They, they will not let me edit Wikipedia since I tried to make a page for myself. <laughs> okay, so what bid we're at? Sixty dollars? Eighty. Eighty. Sorry, Drew. Eighty dollars. Do I hear ninety? <laughs> For another fifty bucks to the, the pool? Yes, I'll sign it. <laughs> so for one hundred and thirty dollars, Lucas will sign it. Eighty-five. <laughs> Do I hear 90? 90. 90 down here. 129. 129. <laughs> 129? 131. 131. So, a towel is going for $131. So, so far, it's very absorbent. I was sweating profusely there. <laughs> No extra cost. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Um, so 131. 131 going once. 140. 140. Just 142. 142 going once. 142 going twice. Sold to Drew. Thank you. Okay. Anyone here use PF? We have the book of PF. You need to know more about PF. This is the third edition. The author will sign it for you if you wish. Twenty dollars. $20. Forty. The towel's on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do I hear forty? Uh, by the way, that was the towel is now on Wikipedia. 
Um, do I hear 40 for the book of PF? 40 back here. Do I hear 50? 50 anywhere? 40 going once, 40 going twice. What's your name? Sold to Rob. Thank you. Hey, Rob. Okay. Okay, let's sell this. You buy it, you ship it. <laughs> this is a FreeNAS XL, is that correct? $5. Let's start the bidding at $100. Let's start the bidding at $200. Matt? Matt. Uh, it's, so that's the FreeNAS Mini XL that's most of you probably saw on our table. Uh, so it does have 8 one terabyte drives. 8 one terabyte drives. $300. Bucks. $300 and, uh, is the first bid. You know, I'll give my card to whoever buys it because we will warranty it for a year. Uh, so FreeNAS Mini, how, roughly how much would one of these retail for? <laughs> these sell on Amazon for $22.50. $22. <laughs> So that's two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, not twenty-two fifty U.S. dollars, by the way. So someone over here said three hundred. Who said three hundred? Three hundred from Mike. Five hundred over here. Thousand dollars over here. One thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred. Holy shit! <laughs> Sorry. I didn't hear. What do you get for a floor model? No, 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 no. This is fully warranted. Fifteen hundred dollars over here. Do I hear fifteen oh one? Fifteen hundred going once. Do you know how to get this home? What? Fifteen oh one. Fifteen oh one. You know you got to ship this home. You have. Oh yes, you are. So you you can't. This has to leave my possession tonight. Okay, I'm not doing anything with it after tonight. Once the auction is over, this disappears, one way or the other. <laughs> okay, so 1501. Do we hear 1510? 1510. 1510 going once? 1511. 1511. 1511. Okay. 1520. Do I hear 1520? 1520. Do I hear 1560? It's still worth it. 1550. 1550. 1550. 1550. 1550. 1550. 1550. 1550. Sold. Thank you. And thank you to IX Systems, too. That's. We should figure out what the most money uh, USD can raise. You'd have to look back through all the Twitter years, because I don't know. But I think we're very close to beating uh, PG Con, which was a couple of weeks ago. I thought I already sold this book. <laughs> book of so, book of PF. What? Forty. Anyone else want book of PF for forty dollars? The author will sign it. Sorry, what's your name? Michael. Michael. Another Michael. For forty for that. Okay. Over here. Oh, we got one last voucher left. Anyone want the last voucher? Last one sold for 20 bucks. It's worth 50. Oh, 25. What? Oh, 25? No, sure. 25. 30. 30. 
40? Anyone 40? 40? 50? Anyone 50? 50 for 50 is a good deal because this is US dollars here. <laughs> 50, anyone? You were the last bid, weren't you, sir, at 40? Or were you, David? Who's got? Okay, 40 going once, 40 going twice. Sold to David Maxwell. Thank you, David. Okay. <laughs> I think that's all the stuff. Ah, is anyone interested in this t shirt? It says the usual BSDs. What size? It large. is a large. Are they both larges? Yes. They're both larges. There is two identical? Okay. This is the last t shirt we have like this. Some <laughs> BSD now? Large? 30? 30 here. 35? 35. 40? 40. 45? 50? 55? Who's got the bid? You got the bid? 50. 50? 55? 55. 45. 50? Anyone? 50. 55 here? 60? 65? 55, he did 60. 65. 70? Will you do 75? No. No, no, it's still your bid. You, you can up it if you want. But how, how much, where was I? 50, 75? 70? 70? 70 going once? 70 going twice? Sold. Thank you. What was your, what was your name? Pat? Matt. Matt. Here I have the second last t-shirt. It's a long-standing joke if you haven't been to. OK, so th this one was last going for 50, 55. 55? Anyone want this for more than 55? Sold to Matt Chu. Thank you. <laughs> OK. Um, we, have, we have bookmarks. Beastie bookmarks made by Liz. We have two of them, identical. 10, 20, 30. 30. Put your hand up when you bid. So, 55? 35, sorry. 40? 45? 50? 55? 60? 50? 60. Okay, so 60 is a bid now. Do I hear 65 from anyone? 60 going once, 60 going twice. Sold to Julie. How much did this one go for? 55. Do you want this one for 50? Does anyone else want to bid him for the last one? Show us your tank. Alec Alexander is the other one. For 55. Okay. Here we have the Canadian edition of the ZFS Mastery Book. Now, just just wait. By, by ZFS, I mean every instance of the word ZFS that is not in a command is spelled Z E D F S. <laughs> okay. Page. Pardon? It also page. Michael? It also contains footnotes only found in the Canadian edition. Mm -hmm. uh, language changes uh, to make the book more uh, palatable and friendly to a Canadian audience. <laughs> um, and only five physical copies of this book will ever exist. I have to, uh, Alan has three, I have one. The electronic originals have been destroyed. <laughs> um, in part so that I cannot make more, but mostly so that Alan can't dip it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a special edition to thank Alan for his, yep. his hard work. 
what, what were you about to say? Bilingual front page. And there is a bilingual front page, yes. So it's legal. It's it, it is legal. Is it all bilingual? No. <laughs> I, w I, w I wish to point out the price in the back is in Canadian dollars, 249.99. <laughs> So this is a steal. Who started it at $100? 100. 110? 150? What? 150. 160. 160. <laughs> Do you hear 170? 200. 200 over here. 220. 200 going once. 220, anyone? 210, anyone? 200 going twice. Hold up your badge. Sold to Chris. Thank you very much. Yeah, we got to get going. I'm going to sell these all in one because we don't, we don't have a lot more time. Michael Lucas has three books. Wi-Fi and Romat. 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 Romax? Romax, thank you. Forced to talk like with your mouth. <laughs> Butterfly stump. Stomp Waltz. All fiction. Ben, on Butterfly Stomp Waltz, I read it and I said, we all like Michael Lucas's books, his technical books. That's not what he's good at. He's good at fiction. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ten? It was ten dollars over here. Twenty? Twenty five? How much? Thirty? How much did you get it signed? Another 20 bucks on top. 80. 80. 80 over here. Do I hear 90? 80 going once. 80 going twice. Noah? I can read that from here. Holy crap. <laughs> Good badges, yeah. Sold. Okay. This is the last thing for sale. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, we have special things here. Um, this is a Linux t-shirt, a Linux symposium t-shirt. Is anyone out of, you know, cleaning material? Extra large. Extra large. $10 to burn it. Not in the building. You won't be able to burn it in the building, but you're free to do with this as you please. No, no, no. So. We can. We, we don't have pennies in this country anymore. So I'll take kids $10. Anyone want to bid that up? How much for Henning to wear this? I'll take yeah. How much for Henning to wear this? Okay. $10 for Henning to wear this all night. No, 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 I, have, yeah, no. I have a little bit of say in this. If you go to 100, I'll do it. All right. You are allowed to, you are allowed to pull your bids. <laughs> Alan will pay $100 for Henning to wear this shirt all night. <laughs> Henning will happily pose for any photographs. <laughs> and I'm sure you will put that on social media as soon as you can. <laughs> he has to wear this until at least midnight, because that's the rest of the night. Right side out, right side out, and there will be people check. Not the back much, not the back, and it's down that side too. What were you going to say, Michael? How are we supposed to bid this up from a hundred, though? Okay, we, we we can we. What can we possibly add to this? Pictures plus extra. Ten dollars a picture to be bushy. $10, a photo, and it goes to the mission, okay? You, you collect that $10, please. <laughs> Going hand in hand is this handbag, which we could get, which we could get <laughs> Henning to carry all night. <laughs> It can, it can easily hang off his arm. It's a Linux Symposium 2002. Now, the people that haven't been here before will probably not know this, but we have this conference to thank for BSD CAN because I learned how not to run a conference by the guy that ran <laughs> this conference. Is 
This isn't taped, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yes, he is not a sponsor. Um, yeah, what are we doing with this? Are we getting Henning to wear it? No, carrot, no, carrot? No, no, no. no. So, the shirt is enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does anyone want to buy this and, and walk around with it standing near Henning for all the photographs? Five dollars? Ten dollars, anyone? Five dollars going once? Five dollars going twice? Oh, ten. Ten to Noah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Noah? Fifteen going once? Fifteen going twice? Sold to Marie. Is it Marie? Yep, yep Marie. Thank you. So, <laughs> so um, some people may not have noticed, but today I'm not wearing the current official FreeBSD Foundation shirt. I am wearing the Coca-Cola classic of FreeBSD Foundation shirts, and that's because Dan is going to auction this shirt off my back. What size? Uh, what size? What? I'm a large, I think. Are you going to take it off now? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. It's me. So, but only once we, get the money. we can do two things here. We will start the bidding off with getting George to take off the shirt and you get the shirt. And then we'll go to the side of bidding to get George to keep the shirt on. <laughs> Whichever side wins, the mission wins, and we win. Okay? So, do I hear fifty dollars? Fifty dollars from the take it off. to take the shirt off. Sure. Fifty. <laughs> Fifty-five. Sixty. Sixty. Do I hear seventy? Seventy. Seventy. Eighty. Seventy going once. Seventy going twice. This is for him to take the shirt off. And give it to the person who wants it. Yes. You get the shirt. Okay? So now, how much to get George to keep on his shirt? Do I hear more than 70? A nickel? 70 going once? 70 going twice? Sold to Angie. PG Con 2014 shirts. Anyone want one of them? What size? 3XL. 3XL. $5. It has, it has a list of the talks on the back and the SQL used to generate it. How much? 10. 15? Okay. Anyone beat 10? 15? 20? 20? 25? 30? 40? 40? 40? 50? How much do you make Henning wear? <laughs> <laughs> I can only wear one at a time. Henning already has a date for tonight. So 50, 50, was, the la 50 was the last bid? 55? 55? 50 going once, 50 going twice, sold to Lacey. Thank you. Okay, there's a whole bunch of other t-shirts here if anyone wants them. I think they're all 3XL. Uh, who else bid on them? Who else bid on the 3XLs? Ten. Ten. No, 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 no. You, you were, who, who's bidding? You, you were bidding? Yep. So 40 bucks? No. 40 bucks to Michael Williams? Yep. And who else was interested? Who wants one for 20 bucks? 10 bucks? Okay, they'll go. They'll go to the home. They'll go to the mission. Oh, oh sorry. Tw Twenty, Marie. Got one last one. Five, 
Ten? Five. Five? Sol? Two. Badge? Derek. Okay. Is there anything else for sale? Have I missed anything? Oh, yes, flight aware. Tell me what this is. Everyone hear that? You can track planes with this. Yes. Who wants it? Track planes. <laughs> track, track planes. So, how much do these normally sell for? 18 US. 18 US. Do I hear 20? 20 oh my, 20, 30. 30. Hands up, hands up for 30. Hands up for 40. 50. 50 over here. 50. 50 going once? 50 going twice? I gotta think about this. Sold to Matthew, yes. <laughs> tell, tell Flight Aware thank you. It's much appreciated. All right. The people that gave me stuff for sale, have I missed anything? There's a pen in the bag. Oh, yes, there's a pen in the bag. The sticker. The sticker. Where is the sticker? Where is the sticker? Where did I put the sticker? Is the sticker over here? Come and find the sticker for me. I don't know where the sticker is. Where did I put it? Oh, wait, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Found the sticker. This is the FreeBSD 2016 sticker. It's the last one. Dog food sticker. FreeBSD dog food sticker. It's the last one. Anyone want it? $5. Anyone want it for 10 10 over here. 15 Yep. <laughs> 15, 15 going once, 15 going twice, 20. Brian. What's that, Brian? 15, 20 to Brian, 20 going once, 20 going twice, 25 in the corner. <laughs> did, you, did you hear that, Mr. Henning? He, he said he'll pay 20 for this if you put this on your laptop. 25. That's at least 100. $100. Anyone, you'll pay $100 for Henning to, wear, to put this on his laptop such that it is visible when the laptop is in use for what period of time? Tonight. Sorry? One, one year. Un until EuroBSD, throughout EuroBSDCon. He'll do that. All right. Sorry? Including EuroBSDCon. Including EuroBSDCon. Okay. So that was yeah, 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 but he's got to give us $100 first. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, your name? Kevin. Kevin. Is that, is that fair? Anyone want to impose more restrictions by bidding higher? <laughs> if, if we bid more money on this, we can get them to, to have that stick around there longer. If we do another another hundred dollars, he has to have it on a sticker through Asia BSGCon. Anyone want to throw in another hundred dollars? Okay. All right. There we go. And there's a pen. The pen is the second last thing for sale. It's a tilted windmill puzzle pen. There's like a little ball here that you have to get two balls that you have to get through different section. Thirty dollars. 30 going once? 35. 35, 40, anyone? 40, 50? Do you say 50? 45, 50? 65, anyone? Last year it went for 80. 50 going once? 50 going twice? Sold to Peter. <laughs> Have I forgotten anything for sale? Did you give me something for sale and I haven't sold it? Mm. Brad, come on down. I have two things for sale. Any cookies? No cookies, I'm sorry. They all got eaten. I have a t-shirt signed by Rod Grimes, and I have Rod Grimes' badge. So, they go as a set. What's the size of the you won't wear this t-shirt. Please don't wear this t-shirt. 
it's an act. <laughs> <laughs> the, the question was asked in case Henning would have to wear it. Yes. So, here is Rod Grimes' signature on the back of this year's T-shirt, and here is Rod Grimes' badge from BSG Can 2016. They go as a set. Do I hear hundred dollars? Hundred dollars in the back from Glenn. Do I hear one twenty? One twenty, anyone? One ten. One ten here. Do I hear one fifteen? One fifteen. Do I hear one twenty? Do I hear one twenty-five? Do I hear one thirty? One twenty-five. One twenty-five going once. Rod, you'd sign the back of your card for this, wouldn't you? I was trying to get it out earlier. Actually. We, we can get we can get Rod to sign the back of the card, so that's worth a bit more. He put a personalized message on it to whoever's buying. <laughs> It's a small card, but it, it, you know, this is the first BSD conference Rod has been at in over 20, Four years. 24 years. So this is a big deal. There aren't many Rod Grimes <laughs> BSD <laughs> conference badges are, around. None around. None around. This is the only Rod Grimes BSD conference badge anywhere in the world. 140. 140. 150. Do you hear 160 from anyone? 160. 160 going once, 170. 170 going once, 170 going twice. Sold the Glen. Thank you. Thank you. you got okay, so we're pretty much done with the auction, but we've got this sorry. thing to go. Oh, sorry. So sorry yeah. I had something to offer. I don't know. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Um, did anyone lose? Did anyone lose the, their whoopee cushion? No, no, I'm donating that. You, donating this, donating this. Whoopee cushion that says sit here for system D. <laughs> it was left out in the hallway. Does anyone want this? Anyone want it at all? Ten for Henny. <laughs> All right, five bucks. Five bucks for anyone. Five. Ten. Anyone want this for ten? Fifteen over here. Goes with graph. Twenty going over here. Twenty-five? Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty over here. Forty? Twenty-five? Thirty? Forty? Forty. Forty up here? Twenty-five. Thirty-five. You had the last bid, didn't you? Thirty. What's your name? Sean. Sean. Thirty dollars for the whoopee cushion. Thank you. Okay. We have to get going because we've been here, what, an hour, two hours? Holy crap. Um, we have to get going. I need a volunteer to help carry stuff down to the car. Um, we need people to hang around here and uh, take all their stuff away. Um, if you owe money and you want to pay by credit card, come see me at the party. We'll settle that up here. Basically, just we're going to trust you, claim your stuff, take it away. We'll settle up all the donations and stuff at the end. Just one second. One second. Give me the mic. Give me a mic. Wait, 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 wait. So every year, every year for many years, I can't actually remember how many because of reasons, um, Dan puts on a really amazing conference for us, and the FreeBSD Foundation and all of us involved would like to thank Dan with a small token of our appreciation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Everyone knows where to go. See you next year. We'll figure out the dates very soon. <laughs>